Hi everyone, welcome to Lapis Compass. Thank you for being here. Today we are doing a reading for Scorpio for the second half of August. We're going to go ahead and pull several messages and see what comes through for you, what to expect. Please do keep in mind, Scorpio, not every message will resonate with every one of you, but your message can come through all the way in the end of the reading, so do stick around. And Scorpio, if you find this reading helpful to you, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. Comment on the reading, let me know what you think. And let's go ahead and start. We are starting today with a messenger delivery, plant and animal oracle deck. Beautiful cards, beautiful messages. Let's see what comes through for you. Scorpio, second half of August. What's going on? Snowdrop is coming through. Box glove. Hugs, and crab is coming through. Interesting. Let's go ahead and start clarifying Scorpio. Let's see what's going on. With this snowdrop, uh, snowdrop energy, there's a lot of self-love. There's a lot of resilience coming in for you. You're very strong. A lot of inner strength. If you feel like you went through um, a lot of challenges to get to where you are. A lot of inner strength in you, Scorpio. And it feels to me like you're acknowledging that about yourself now. Or it is time for you to do so. Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. Nice. Two of Cups. Justice. And Page of Swords. Scorpio, I feel like uh, you've been through some difficult times. You've been very resilient. I feel like you have a lot of inner strengths. And I feel like finally the luck is starting in your favor. For a lot of you, this is going to be in union. This is going to be in a romantic love life. You're coming in the, into a union with a person who's very fair, very just, very honest. There could be um, a Libra that is involved here or any other air sign. doesn't have to be there. Um, sound sign but it could be I do feel like this person wants to communicate they, they want to talk to you and they have a lot of feelings for you I feel like uh, um, you went through a lot of hard times in your love life and in your life in general they see you in a strength they see how resilient you are they also see your kindness you're a very kind person you're a very uh, nourishing person and this person really appreciates it here I do feel there is some lucky turn of events when it comes to your romantic love life and you're coming in into a union with a person that is equal to you. I like that. I like that a lot, Scorpio. With this uh, Fox Club energy, <laughs> again, the matters of the heart is uh, coming through here. I feel like you're thinking about your uh, love situation quite a bit. I feel like some of you are re-evaluating the connections that you're in. Um, for those of you who are in a long-term connection that is not working out, I feel like you are thinking about possibly leaving that connection here and um, detaching in some way. Let's go ahead and see. Your heart wants what it wants, and I feel like you will acknowledge that. The world is coming through a new cycle. Page of Wands, Nine of Swords, and the Hangman. Yeah, I feel like um, you're very much in your head. You're very much in, in your head about the situation. I feel like some of you Scorpios are in a connection that is just not working anymore. It's not what your heart desires anymore. And you're thinking about leaving this co uh, connection. You're thinking about um, moving uh, forward, starting something new, starting a new cycle in your life here. There could be some of, um, somebody around you that sparks your interest here as well. But you're a little bit stuck. You're a little bit stuck here. You're you're worried this could have been a long-term relationship and it's not that easy for you to leave but with this hang news hangman energy here you are changing the perspective on your romantic love life i feel like you're realizing uh, that 
what your heart wants is what your heart wants, and you can't change that. You are reevaluating with that hangman. You're definitely reevaluating re your connections here. You're reevaluating re your romantic love life, and for a lot of you, you're starting a new cycle here. I do see that. This is something that is weighing very heavy on you. I feel like this is something that's keeping you awake at night, but you're changing your perspective on your love life, and you're inviting something new. That's what I see. And you have this fox energy. There is some strategizing going on. I feel like there's things you keep into yourself. Um, there is not everything that you are opening up to other people around. You want to bring some change into your life and you want to do it quietly. Very strategic, very smart, very clever the way you go around things. And like I said, not necessarily uh, announcing every step to other people. energy for Scorpio. Yep, going for your wish fulfillment. Mm -hmm. One more. No. Yeah, there's matters of the heart is definitely on your mind here. In the second half of August, you will be busy thinking about your romantic love life. It feels to me like you've been uh, um, burdened by the relationship that you were in for quite a while here. Burdened by the past, burdened by uh, thoughts about the past here. It feels to me like you're very emotional about this. For some of you, um, this something happened in the relationship here that was very heartbreaking for you. I do see that very strongly. It almost feels like you were kind of... Uh, kept in this oh, hurt <laughs> i do uh, this is a very um, heavy energy here with this uh, ten of wands you've been carrying these burdens for quite a while here the burdens about thinking about this this three spilled cups things that didn't work out here things that are not working out here with the three of swords yes there is a heartbreak here i do see that and with the eight of swords this is a self-imposed restrictions you are Keeping yourself in that energy um, of um, pain and hurt. I feel that. But with this Queen of Cups here right in the middle, this is you. This is you standing strong. This is you ri uh, rising above the challenges that you went through here and going for what you truly desire and want. This is your wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups, putting yourself first, becoming independent, dropping the heavy burdens of the past here and strategizing for your future, bringing the change. You're bringing the change in your romantic love situation. I see this very, very clearly. You are in charge here. You're the one who's making the changes. You're doing it quietly. You're doing it for yourself. You're putting yourself first here. And yes, you're bringing the change that is going to make you feel really, really good. You are, you are, um, you love independence. Uh, you want to be in connections. Yes, absolutely. Love is very important to you, but you want to feel independent in the connection. And I feel that that's something that was lacking in the situation you were in. Let's go ahead and clarify what is this all about. There is some more balance coming into your life. There is some more of balance equal times that are coming in here. Equal relationships. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is that strategy energy that is coming through here. I feel like your messages are very much connected today. Page of Pentacles in Reverse, Three of Wands, Hierophant, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and Three of Cups. Yes, <laughs> what do we see here? You're strategizing. Some of you are walking away. Some of you are walking away from uh, um, an earth sign that you were connected to. I feel like this was a long time coming. You've been considering this for quite a long time. And I feel for a lot of you, this was a marriage. I do feel that this is a long-term relationship. You were connected to this person for quite a while. Like I said, for some of you, this could have been definitely a marriage here. You could have been connected to a Virgo um, specifically or just somebody with a strong uh, earth placements here you could have been um, you could have been uh, um, having also like uh, joint finances i feel like there was a, a big um, um, 
connection here with finances too. So you could have had a joint finances with this person. You could have been even the one who was carrying the financial part of your union. I do feel that energy as well. Um, you could have been working with this person or you could have met when you were, wor um, when you were working together. Um, you could have been working together in the same place and then went different ways when it comes to work, but you could have met through work. Um, what I feel here is that you're opening up to other options. This is what I see here. I feel like you want to find a more balanced connection. You want to find a connection that is more equal, the connections of two mature people here, and you're opening up yourself to other options. And it's going to bring a lot of celebrations. I feel like you will be going out a little bit more. The second half of August, you might even escape for a little break with uh, your friends or your siblings here and just go explore what's out there. Um, I feel like um, you need need a little bit of attention on you you need to a little bit of a reminder how other people see you because they the, there is a lot of people that are attracted to you you are attractive to a lot of people but it feels to me like in this union that you were in you almost kind of uh, lost that um that knowing that knowing how attracted you are to other people you almost lost that um uh, that sense of uh there's other options out there and I feel like you're coming back to it. I feel like you're opening up yourself to other options. I feel like you will be spending a lot more time outside, just connecting to new people and also spending good time with your close friends who are understanding what situation you are going through. This is what I see. Interesting. All right, Scorpio, let's move this out of the way. Let's uh, pull some Muse Tarot for you. Let's see what other message we have for Scorpio. Second half of August. What's going on? Wow, look at this. The moon is in reverse. Secrets are being revealed. New paths are being opened to you. Ooh, and you're charging ahead. Charging ahead, Scorpio. Wow, and here you are with that death card, rejuvenation, starting something new, standing strong in your power. This is you in the major arcana. And look at this, look at the cards you've got. These are all major arcanas. This is a significant change. This is not just some small things that, you know, um, affect your week. These are significant changes. All major arcanas, all major arcanas coming in in your spread here. And yes, I do feel that for a lot of you, this has something to do with your marriage here. Uh, secrets are coming out. Um, I feel like uh, one of you or both of you are not necessarily happy in the union that you're in right now. And that's something that is coming out now. You're opening a new cycle for yourself. You're putting yourself first. You're charging ahead. You're moving forward. You are starting, you are ending something and you're starting something new. This is what I feel very, very strongly. For a lot of you Scorpios, like I said, you could be ending a marriage here and starting a complete new cycle in your romantic love life. There could be a cancer involved here. You could be starting a new cycle with a cancer here. You could be leaving somebody with very strong Virgo placements. That again is coming through. We've seen that before. A complete redone in your love life. That's what I see. An ending and a new beginning. And it's coming in with you seeing the path ahead. It's coming, it's starting with you seeing that there's the whole world in front of you. The whole world in front of you. And I feel like you are coming into that knowledge. And you know where you want to go. You, you are standing strong in your power. And yes, you want to end something. That's what I see. Wow, okay. Let's go ahead and um, pull lights here's Tarot Scorpio. Let's see what else is happening here. Look at that, the sun is coming through, happiness, joy, celebrations, wish fulfillment, nice, very nice, look at all these happy times, and look, hangman is in reverse, you're getting unstuck, and that balance energy is coming through, beautiful, the, there is joy here, there is joy, there is celebration, there is freedom, this is you, 
breathing in, <laughs> fully here, being free, being happy, being joyful with the decisions that you made, going for your wish fulfillments, nine of cups, this is wishes being fulfilled. Again, this has something to do with your um, long-term connections, with your marriages, 11-11, a lot of celebration here. I feel like you're celebrating the decisions that you're making here and you're getting not stuck. Look at this. Hangman in reverse. Your perspective has changed on your romantic love life. You're getting unstuck and you're going for equal balanced relationships for what you truly desire and deserve. Beautiful. Love this for you, Scorpio. All right. Well, that was a very clear message here. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. And Scorpio, we're going to close out your reading with the Coffee Cup Oracle cards. Let's see what else comes through for you for the second half of August. Huge transformation. And you're in the center of it. You are making that transformation for yourself. Okay. Wow. All right. What's happening? Scorpio, Scorpio. We have that key energy with the moves bear and a rabbit you are unlocking your own inner strengths here i feel this very strongly you are very unique you're very attractive you're very different than some people around you in a very good way and you're unlocking them within yourself i feel like you have a lot of strengths you have a lot of inner strengths here and um, you are finally showing this to yourself and to the world with this rapid energy here i do feel that some of you could be a little bit uh, fearful of uh, your financial situation because of the changes that you're about to make here but do know that you have all the strengths and resources to be able to pull the through don't give in to your fears i do feel that um, although you want to be connected you can make it on your own i'm not saying you're going to be single forever not at all but you can make it you can make it on your own you can make it through the stage of uh, staying alone and Finding some a connection that where you will be seen for who tru who you truly are and where you will be accepted and appreciated for who you truly are. You are unlocking a whole new cycle in your life. That's what I see. Beautiful Scorpio, I truly hope you found something in this reading that was helpful to you, that uh, resonated with you. Let me know in the comments. And thank you for being here. Hope to talk to you soon. Bye for now, Scorpio.